in this lecture we shall uh, try to understand what is uh, wave and also we shall see some other definitions related with waves now first of all what are waves or what is wave now wave is a periodic disturbance in a medium or space a periodic disturbance in a medium or space is called wave now there are some kinds of waves which uh, needs or requires a medium for its propagation and uh, some waves do not need any material medium for its propagation mechanical waves material or medium is required for propagation and the wave is formed when the material gets disturbed the material parts must be connected so that the disturbance is uh, communicated to the neighboring particle or the material should be or should be in a position to exert force on the neighboring particles an example of this kind of waves the mechanical waves can be sound waves waves formed in water water waves etc now there are other kind of uh, waves as mentioned called non mechanical waves in this kind of waves no material medium is required for the propagation there is 
no material movement and only the space points have some changes for example electromagnetic waves Waves can also be categorized in terms of the direction of its propagation and the direction of the vibration of the disturbance. Transverse waves. It can so happen. That. The material movement or the particle movement is perpendicular to the direction of propagation of the disturbance or the wave. This kind of wave is known as transverse waves or transverse wave. For example, electromagnetic wave Periodic motion imparted to string etc. Now there are longitudinal wave. The movement of the particle in this kind of wave or the particle vibration is in the direction of of the propagation of the wave that is the disturbance travels in the same direction as the direction of the vibration of the particle that is they are parallel to each other this kind of wave is called
longitudinal width. Examples are sound waves, uh, a spring mass system, etc. Now we shall try to uh, see how a wave is generated and if we can write some equations which a wave may satisfy. For that let us consider uh, long string with one end fixed let us consider a long string with one end fixed to a wall and the other end held by a person. A bump is produced by snapping the hands up and down. So it is like this. Suppose here is the person holding the string and he is snapping his hands. The string is being fixed at the walls and you can see a bump is produced here. So what will happen? The bump will start moving towards the right with some constant velocity. So at some time after the bump is being produced, it might be so that bump is like this at this position as it is moving towards right and after some time it may be like this. So the bump is traveling towards the right direction. The bump or the disturbance travels on the string towards right with a constant speed suppose uh, the speed b v which is the speed of the wave or the velocity of the wave. So, V is the wave velocity. Now, in time t, 
इन टाइम टी द वेव विल ट्रैवल अ डिस्टेंस हाउ मच वी टी टूवर्ड्स राइट द वेव और द डिस्टर्बेंस विल ट्रैवल अ डिस्टेंस वी टी टूवर्ड्स राइट नाउ द वेव विच हैज ट्रैवल्ड अ डिस्टेंस और द डिस्टर्बेंस विच हैज ट्रैवल्ड अ डिस्टेंस वी टी टूवर्ड्स राइट should have been or was at the point uh vt distance left to the present position see if this wave is traveling towards right in time t it has moved the distance vt so if it is here now so means at time t before it was here that is this distance is vt also this disturbance at this time t at different points are different at this point uh, at this time if the disturbance is here so at this position and at this time this is the disturbance or this is the wave and in the same time t the disturbance is having some different form so this displacement is if suppose this is the x axis and the displacement is the y axis so at the same time t the displacement y at different positions or at different x are different so the disturbance at distance or position x is different at the same instant of time t that is the at the same time t at the same time t the displacement y at different x is different so displacement y y must depend upon position x as well as time t so we can write y is a function of x and 
t let the present position be x and the time be t So the displacement y can be written as f x t. Now the as this time is suppose this is our time x equal to this is x and suppose this is our time t. So this the displacement which is here at the position x and at time t. should have been uh somewhere here at time if this is time t equal to 0 and the distance is how much the position is x this this is x then this is x minus b t because in time t the wave or the this disturbance must have traveled this distance and which is how much this is equal to b t so if we take this as time t equal to 0 the position of this point is x minus v t so this is the displacement which has traveled from here to here so the displacement which is at the position x at time t should be equal to the displacement at time t equal to 0 at position x minus vt so we can write the same displacement should be at time t equal to 0 at uh distance x minus vt for the disturbance which is traveling towards right obviously because the displacement which originated or was present at time t equal to 0 at position x minus vt has come to the point x in the interval of time t that is the value of displacement y at time t equal to 0 at position x minus vt should be same at the same as the displacement at that time t equal to t at position x so we can write this as y equal to f x t and this should be equal to f x minus v t and at time zero so we can see the displacement should be having a combination of x and t so the displacement should have 
a combination of x and t. So we have to find an equation which can satisfy this condition. And what is the condition? The condition is that the value of the displacement y at uh, time t equal to 0 at position x minus vt should be same as the value of the displacement at time t equal to t at the position x. So let us try with uh, a combination of uh, uh, x and t. Let us try with uh, try suppose y equal to x plus vt. So at position x and time t y should be equal to how much x plus vt and at position x minus vt and time t equal to 0 the position must be or the displacement should be equal to y equal to in place of x we will write how much x minus vt plus v and into time and this time here is equal to how much 0 so actually for this we will write y equal to x minus vt plus v into 0 and this is equal to x minus v t. So from here we can see the displacement at position x and time t is x plus vt and the displacement at the position x minus vt and time t equal to 0 is x minus vt. So these two are not equal. So this equation x plus vt is not satisfying our condition. So let us try with uh, y equal to x minus vt. So at position x and time t the displacement is how much y equal to x minus vt and the displacement at position x equal to x minus vt and time equal to 0 the displacement should be equal to y equal to in place of x we will write x minus vt plus v into how much sorry minus v into time 0 so this is equal to x minus vt as this v into 0 is 0. So here we can see uh, this equation or this combination of uh, x and t is satisfying our condition that is y is here x minus vt that is at position x minus vt and time t equal to 0 the value of y is x minus vt and also the uh, the value of uh, the displacement y at uh, position x and t is how much x minus vt so this condition of uh, uh, this condition is being satisfied and the value will be x minus vt so this condition So, this 
the combination x minus vt satisfies our condition. So, any combination of x minus vt can be taken as the equation of the wave. You can take any combination having x minus vt will uh, can be taken as the wave equation. We can take any form. We can also take the form of sine of x minus vt for a simple periodic displacement. But uh, for this, there is uh, some problem. x minus vt is uh, some distance as they are in the dimension of length. But the argument of sine, the argument of sign should be dimensionless. So, to make x minus vt or this combination inside sign, the argument of sign dimensionless, uh, what we can do? We can multiply it some constant k having dimension one by length one by length so this whole quantity x minus vt into k will become dimensionless so this becomes sine k x minus vt. But there is another problem with this is that the left hand side is y. So if you write y equal to sine k x minus vt and since sine of theta will give a number. So the left hand side being displacement having dimension of length and the right hand side is a number this will also not do so for making this equation dimensionally correct what we can do we can multiply it with again some constant a having dimension of what dimension of length so a must have dimension of length. So, we have this equation of the wave as y equal to a sin k x minus vt. So, this is the uh, wave equation. traveling along the positive x direction. So, if the wave is traveling along the negative x direction, simply the equation will be y equal to a sin k x plus vt traveling along negative x direction. We can write it as y equal to a the wave equation traveling along the positive x direction x minus vt or y equal to a sin kx minus 
के वी टी और लेट एस राइट इट एज वाई इक्वल टू ए साइन के एक्स माइनस ओमेगा टी वेर ओमेगा इज के वी अदर क्वांटिटीज वी कैन राइट एज ए इक्वल टू एम्पलीट्यूड के इज द वेव नंबर एंड ओमेगा इज द एंगुलर frequency is the angular frequency so let us uh, see some other terms related to the wave in wave there are certain points which are having the same displacement the same velocity and having the same direction of velocity so these points are called the points having the same phase or the disturbance having the same phase this is important phase in the wave points having same displacement same velocity and same direction of velocity are said to be in same phase now there are there is another quantity which is called wavelength now as the displacement or the wave is a function of uh, x and t the position or and the time so at a fixed time the minimum distance at which the motion repeats itself it is the position velocity direction of velocity same is called the wavelength it is generally denoted by lambda now let us try to understand what is a wavelength uh, here the displacement is as already mentioned is a function of uh, the position x and time t here we can see a wave a sine wave to be precise going towards the positive x direction let this be the displacement axis the y axis and from the main position let this be the position or the x axis here we can see a particle is vibrating like this it is going up 
reaching the maximum point of displacement in the positive y direction. This is the maximum amplitude in the positive y direction. And again it is coming back in the main position and again it is going down further reaching the maximum point of displacement in the y direction in the negative axis. We have already seen the definition of wavelength that is the minimum distance between two points having the same displacement, same velocity and same direction of velocity at a fixed point, fixed point of time or a fixed time. In real life, uh, we cannot fix time, but in this video we can freeze the time by stopping this like this. Now, uh, let us suppose we have got this point and this point. These two points have the displacement like this. This is the displacement and they are having the same displacement. These two points having the same displacement. And here the velocity as well as the direction of the velocity are also same. In this point the particle is just coming down. Here also the particle is just coming down. So the distance between these two points which is the minimum distance wherein between these two points having the same displacement, same velocity and same direction of velocity. So this is called the wavelength lambda. Now look at this point and also this point. These two are also having the same displacement, same velocity and same direction of velocity. But this is not the minimum distance. The minimum distance between two points is this much. Here the distance between this and this will be twice the wavelength twice the wavelength and this is the wavelength distance between this point here and this point here. There can be numerous points where the displacement, the velocity and the direction of velocity are same and the minimum distance between these two points will be the wavelength. We can use a point here and a point here. So this is the displacement you can see displacement is same between uh, at these two points and the velocity as well as the direction of velocity is also same. So the distance between these two points is the wavelength. Two points can be like this also one point here and one point here is the displacement they are same and the velocity and the direction of velocity are also same so the distance between these two points is the wavelength uh, the points can be like this point suppose here and a point here this is the displacement can see the displacement at both these points are same the direction of velocity and the velocity are also same so this point this minimum distance between this point and this point is our wavelength so uh, this is how we try to understand what is the wavelength?
So, uh, the wave equation or the traveling equation of the wave is in the form y equal to a sin kx minus omega t. Now, the particle velocity let us denote it as u is equal to how much dy by dt. The v which we have studied is the velocity of the wave. Now this is u, it is a different thing, it is the particle velocity and this is how much the differentiation of y with respect to t, it is dy by dt and this is how much this is equal to minus a omega cos kx minus omega t. Now from the definition the particles at position x and x plus wavelength lambda must have the same displacement. So, therefore, A sine kx minus omega t should be equal to a sin k x plus lambda minus omega t. So, increase in angle is k x plus lambda minus omega t minus k x minus omega t and uh, ultimately this is equal to k lambda. This we can get from k x plus lambda minus omega t minus uh, k x minus omega t. So, ultimately solving this we get it as k into lambda. Also, the velocity of the particle must be same at lambda apart. So, the velocity lambda apart must be same at lambda apart. So, minus a omega cos kx minus omega t should be equal to minus a omega cos k x plus lambda minus omega t. So, again the increase in angle angle is by k lambda and we know that if the angle is increased, the minimum angle increased by 2 pi both for sine and cosine the value will be same. Therefore, k lambda equal to 2 pi since, since for the minimum increment of angle 2 pi sine and cosine will have the same value. Therefore,
लैमडा इज इक्वल टू टू फाइव बाई के और के इक्वल टू टू पाई बाई लैमडा दट इज वेब नंबर इज इक्वल टू टू पाई बाई लैमडा नाउ when we fix x if x is fixed after suppose time capital t the position velocity direction of velocity all are same that is at t and t plus t position velocity and direction of velocity are same therefore for position we can write a sin kx minus omega t is equal to a sin kx minus omega t plus t so change or increase in angle is equal to omega t and for having the same velocity at time t and t plus capital t we have minus a omega cos kx minus omega t is equal to minus a omega cos kx minus omega t plus t again the change in angle is omega t therefore the minimum value of omega t is equal to 2 pi therefore t equal to 2 pi by omega now t is call the time period time period after which the particle repeats its motion we define another quantity as new new equal to 1 by t new is called the frequency frequency that is the number of oscillations completed in 1 second so its units unit will be 1 by second or second minus 1 and it is also 
called hertz and is written as capital H and small z H Z. So we have found out omega equal to or written omega equal to k v and uh, omega is 2 pi by t omega is 2 pi by t and k is 2 pi by lambda and we write it as v or uh, from here we get 2 pi 2 pi get cancels out lambda equal to v into t lambda equal to v t or v equal to lambda by t or v equal to 1 by t is the frequency nu into lambda. So these three are the same equation written in different form. Again another thing uh, which we shall see here. We can choose x and 0, x and t as per our convenience. x equal to 0 and t equal to 0 as per our convenience. We can take x equal to 0 and t equal to 0 as per our convenience. y equal to a sin kx minus omega t is our equation of the traveling wave. Now at x equal to 0 and t equal to 0, uh, the particle velocity we can take uh, y equal to dy by dt equal to the particle velocity u and this is equal to minus a omega cos kx minus omega t. So the particle velocity at x equal to 0 and t equal to 0 is equal to minus a omega and the value of y the displacement at x equal to 0 and t equal to 0 is 0. So we can see at x equal to 0 and t equal to 0 the particle is at mean position at x equal to 0 and t equal to 0 the particle is at the mean position mean position as y equal to 0 and the particle is going down as the velocity is negative minus a omega. So since y equal to 0 the particle is at the mean position and since it is uh, having velocity negative minus a omega is negative so the particle is going down. If you want uh, at t equal to 0 the particle uh, is at top x equal to 0 and t equal to 0 the particle is at top we can write the same equation as y equal to a sin kx minus omega t plus pi by 2 so at x equal to 0 t equal to 0 we get y equal to a 
that is having the maximum amplitude so the particle will be at the top having maximum amplitude now what is the particle velocity u equal to dy by dt and this is equal to minus a omega cos kx minus omega t plus pi by 2 and putting x equal to 0 and t equal to 0 u is equal to 0 that is the particle is at top having u equal to 0 that is it has just reached the top position and it has just started coming down now uh, we can again choose y equal to 0 and uh, this time the particle going up for that we can write y equal to a sin kx minus omega t plus pi therefore at x equal to 0 t equal to 0 y equal to 0 now the particle velocity is minus a omega cos kx minus omega t plus pi so now for k equal to z, x equal to 0 t equal to 0 we have u equal to a omega plus a omega so u being positive so the particle since y equal to 0 is at mean position and since the particle velocity is positive so it is going up in general we can write we can write the equation as y equal to a sin kx minus omega t plus delta where this delta is called the phase constant and depends on how x equal to 0 and t equal to 0 are chosen and it should be constant throughout the motion so these are the basics related to the wave the wave equation and some of the other things related to wave